fall off. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Put in some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And what the goddamn hell y'all league? So, <sighs> wrong side. We're about to get into this video about CJ. Now, apparently, CJ done bought some money, child, and he, well... He got to give it back. He got to make a certain amount on his channel. And if he don't per month, well, they're going to take his money. Uh, certain things I just don't believe. But this certain situation, I mean, you can't knock black and white. And uh, it's, in, it's pretty much in black and white. So let's watch this situation with CJ and see uh, just what the hell going on. Because it ain't right. I'm telling right now it ain't right. Can I move my camera yet? Damn. All right, let's get it. Y'all can't make my camera no All right, so we got to talk about this. This is actually a pretty crazy. Now, Royalty had dropped a video a couple days ago, uh, and it seemed like she knows a lot of information about uh, CJ So Cool, and she mentioned uh, his YouTube channel, and this is why the uh, Tea Room had uh, discovered this, like, auctioning site where uh, people can, like, YouTube creators can get an upfront investment and uh and then over like a period of time the investor would get a return on their investment like i'll explain it in just a sec but we also learned that it's actually two it's not just one like the uh, tea room had uh, originally discussed i think she mentioned there was like one for like eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars, but there's actually a second one so this is crazy the uh, total is like almost like over a million dollars. I think it's like one point six million dollars, if I'm not mistaken, something like that. Appreciate so this is the up, uh, first one right up. here. This is the article. A uh, YouTuber CJ So Cool is auctioning thirty five percent of his uh, future royalties for at least eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Now, y'all, these these people, Royalty Exchange, pay CJ So Cool allegedly. $850,000 to uh, potentially get future royalties from his channel and 35% of that. So basically, he would have to pay almost, if not more than $50,000 a month for those that don't understand what's going on. And there's like an intro here about Royalty Exchange, a marketplace where artists can offer shares of future royalties in exchange for immediate funding. Uh, prankster CJ So Cool has 8.7 million subscribers and that's an average of 30 million views per month. That would mean he's uh, producing a million views per month. That's Well, he's not doing that now, so that kind of explains uh, why certain things are going the way they're going. Uh, he's asking an investor to contribute a minimum of $850,000 cash to fund his video production efforts. In return for his investment, CJ So Cool will give up a 35% cut of his monthly YouTube earnings up to a cap of $55,000 per month. So apparently he shouldn't have to pay over 55000 a month. Month. If the auction remains at 850000 that return on investment would provide a profit of $263,500. So that means Royalty Exchange will be making over, you know, a quarter million dollars of off CJ. So they will be making 850,000 plus 263,000, you know, from his channel. Per he post videos and get that amount of money per month. Seems like a pretty good uh profit if things, you know, go according to plan. And uh Royalty Exchange says that th with this type of advanced style investment. So that's what they call it, advanced style investment. So, Nay, you said, why would he make a deal like this? Y'all, once again, this is a legend. I don't know if this is true or not. I don't know if this man doing this, this is online. I feel as though he done tapped out. He done spent too much damn money. 
Now, we watch CJ every day by designer. He don't even really do that like that anymore. Now he will. He don't film it. But he used to buy designer every day. <clears throat> Go take the kids shopping, royalty shopping. Like, this is his lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? So the problem is he got so stuck in that with the channel and blew the bag with the royalty and her children to the point where she just couldn't take the shit no more. So... And I mean taking the cheating and all their relationship politics and shit. So, Royalty decided to leave, take her kids. The kids is the money. Royalty done took all that and left. He don't have that no more, friend. His videos getting 200K views to us is a lot. Hell, even to me, I'd be like, shit, bet. You know what I'm saying? That's a good check for me. Not for CJ. If he out spending fifty, sixty thousand dollars a day, this if I'm gassing, twenty k a day on clothes, y'all, bitch, clothes. I feel like he was spending his whole check, like in that thirty days. So by the time it was time for him to get paid again, he had more money. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, like it, it comes back type shit. But to go buy designer every day, y'all, that's a lot of money. I'm talking about shit. 5000 for some pants. 10000 for for a bag. You know what I'm saying? Like, he be spending money. So, I think that he thought if he sold this portion of his channel, obviously, they give him $850,000. That'll have him up $850,000 for that moment. And I think all them changes he was trying to make was, was supposed to catch him up like obviously he want his twins he need his twins for content <clears throat> he needs um kamari for content hell he even need nike for content that's why he got lexi now for content he thinking these people he bringing for content is gonna help but it's not people are over you ever i'm over him you know what i'm saying i just i can't believe he fumbled this bag like this where um the YouTuber or artist. Like you got DDG, right? Ain't never had nothing. Came up and just kept going up though. He know the amount of money he want to spend. So he got to make that amount of money. So boom, let me get in. Let me put investments into um, how, re not retail. Put in investments into houses and um, real estate and jewelry. You know what I'm saying? My family. Uh, a label let me get signed <laughs> let me do twitch <laughs> ddg spend money so he gotta work a lot to get that money cj do one video a day and he think he up stupid gets an upfront investment and then over a period of time they get uh they get the repayment the investor gets the uh, repay repayment but that's only if the numbers you know go smooth if uh, what this person estimates, like CJ estimated that during the past 12 months, he earned a total of $490,000. This is crazy. Um, that so this said is what, the uh, past month. Did that say the past month? He earned a total of $490,000. No, past 12 000. months. So like I said, $490,000 for CJ for the past 12 months, considering his life and who he is that's broke to ddg <laughs> ddg would be like nigga you made 500k in a year du uh, uh not dub uh well hell dub too but um what's his name uh fuck damien damien would be like yo 500k in a year like nigga what like you broke as shit you know what i'm saying like i'm just letting y'all know for as an example to them that ain't shit. <laughs> DDG making that a month. If not more. Kai Sinet is making that a month, if not more. Aiden Ross. You know what I'm saying? They're making way more money than that in a month. So this is considered broken Ballers. shit for him. This is crazy. Um, so this is what um, the tea room had uh, shared. But uh, th there's actually another one. So, so y'all, this, this fool did two too. Of them. 
it's not just this one right here. This is the first one that she had discussed. I don't think she's aware of the uh, second one, but this is the first one. So this one is for $850,000, which is pretty much what the article that I just shared with you guys indicates. Starting price, $850,000. Bidding increment, $1,000. Closing price, $850,000. Uh, end date, June 2nd, 2021. Now, just remember that end date, June 2nd, 2021, because the uh, second one has a much later date in the month of June, also in the year of 2021. Uh, last 12 months royalties, $490,000. Investment term, distributor. And then we got uh, some more information here. Then we got the, the description. And here, uh, up for bid is monthly uh, YouTube income from the official YouTube channel of influencer CJ So Cool. As the winning bidder, you will collect payments until you receive the fixed amount of $1.113,500. It's so almost, yeah, 1.1 million. So getting so 80, 80, 850,000, he got to pay them back $1,113,500. Change uh, for an overall return of 33.5%. That's only like, that's only if CJ uploads videos and these are quality videos that are able to get views. Um, like I said, if things go according to plan. How this investment works, this asset offers the right to collect monthly payments up to a monthly cap of 55000 which is pretty much what the article said. Uh, then they got some I wonder what happens here. if he don't. Y'all, here's the problem. And more information, finance. I don't know how crazy this get because obviously if somebody giving you $1.6 million, oh, they going to get their money back. So my question is, what happens if he can't? That channel gonna be gone. Financial highlight. So you guys can easily now find this information. Uh, this is the first one. But actually, there is a second one. And the uh, second one is... Not only did he do it once, y'all. He did it twice. It's for $825,000. This one has an earn, earn a fixed return of $1.115. From a YouTuber's uh, CJ So Cool. This one it has a closing price, like I said, of $825,000. So that means that's a total of $1.6 million. Actually, almost like $1.7 million. So he took up front $1.7 million and gave up 70%. Starting price, eight twenty-five dollars For $1.6 million. And now he got to pay back probably almost because the other one was like 1.1. He going to probably owe like two and a half million dollars <laughs> for 1.6 gives up 70% of his fucking channel. 70% y'all This nigga working for free Knowing damn well That 1.6 million ain't gonna last him Cause he don't know how to handle money At all So as soon as he get back on his feet He gonna be outside Spending money That's all he do is spend And he don't spend Lightly he spent all that shit. <laughs> Girl. Closing price, 825. End date is June 28, 2021. The cap is at $55,000 a month. Social Blade say he making 60 k a month. Do y'all know he's pocketing $5,000 a month if this were to be true? Because he could be making more than 60 right now. But y'all, he has to hustle up $55,000 a month with YouTube in order to pay them for. This shit is crazy. And that's why I said uh, earlier, no if you guys, uh, on the first one, I said the date was a little bit earlier in the month of June. This one has a much um, later date, June 28. 
Now, this one is actually a little bit different. And actually, it says right here, we recently sold a portion of this revenue stream. Now, another 35% share of monthly YouTube income from the official YouTube channel of influencer uh, CJ So Cool is available. With new terms that decrease risk to the winning bidder. As the winning bidder, you will collect payments until you receive the fixed amount of 1.1 million and some change. Uh, so that's pretty similar to the uh, last one. Uh, the first two monthly payments will be uncapped and are expected to total at least $258,000. What? 31% return on the principal and the first two payments confirmed the July payment is $140,883 estimated August payments at least 117,200 that is so crazy like they're making investment decisions off of the supporters and the subscribers and the viewers what like and then what he talking about is crazy because we all do YouTube to get views. You did this video to get views. So I don't I don't understand the whole, like, they using supporters and subscribers. I don't understand. I mean, that. you guys got to wrap your mind around it. Like, you are being used. Like, he has to generate a certain amount of, of views in order for all of this to really work. Um, <laughs> subsequent monthly Apparently, you can, look it, up. You can look, monthly look it up and see how many YouTubers did this. The most that will be recouped in a 55,000 <clears throat> monthly floor. The least that will be recouped, if possible. See below, if the monthly floor is uh, fifty-five thousand. So I mean, this is this is crazy. Um, so he gave up seventy percent, seventy percent of his channel in exchange for one point seven million dollars. Well, yeah, one point six seven five. So about one seven, one point seven million uh, to be rounded off. I would be such a good boy. The C, uh, CJ is So Cool channel is managed exclusively by Brad, Broadband TV Corporation, which monetizes and the media of content owners through end to end management, distribution, monetization solutions. Like, I've never heard him talk about this stuff, but it sounds like he's really at the mercy of Broadband TV or. Like the supporters and subscribers so are just I being will be used. kissing so much ass. Like I don't even want to use that word, but I'm sure you guys, after reading all this stuff, and if you haven't had an opportunity to really understand this stuff, um, you can find this information easily online. Now the second one, this one right here, this eight hundred and twenty-five thousand dollar investment was a little bit more trickier to find, but I discovered that all you got to do is just go into a, a Google search and just put in CJ So Cool. $825,000 and you should be able to find it. Some of the uh, search results will come up with this article. Um, but yeah, this is pretty crazy, guys. So, <clears throat> CJ, not CJ So Cool, uh, Damien and Bianca, um, uh, what's that boy, Corey? Uh, hmm. We'll go Ace Family. I mean, like, all of them was able to continue to make more money outside of YouTube. Queen and Clarence, outside of YouTube. For him to be so smart, I mean, it's stupid. Damien and Bianca have several channels. And they have a channel that they running out for their kids. So, that's the channel they be on most of the time. But y'all, this is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> this is a legend. I don't know if this is true or not, but if this is true, baby, got to be the dumbest shit I've ever heard of in my life. But y'all, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Um, girl, would you do it? That's all I got. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.